Hey there, everybody. Good morning, because Turnabout is Fair Play today. I have a question for you. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey there, everybody. Good morning and welcome to another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host today. I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful today that we get through this installment with no interruptions. There, I've said it. I've jinxed it already, but, but we'll see how it turns out. Hey, listen, if, uh, if you are, uh, watching here on the, the live stream, be sure to do what Joe has done. Leave a, uh, comment down there. Say hi. Let me know that you're here. Let me know what's going on with you today. And if you are not watching the live stream, then you should be. Head over to seven minutes in the morning dot com. That will get you to the right place. And as soon as we get all this, all the streaming stuff figured out, um, cause I, I think we have, I think we have that problem, uh, figured out. Hey, Amanda, and good morning to you and good morning to you as well, Abby. Thank you for being here. Um, I, I think we got it figured out. And once it's figured out and I'm kind of satisfied that it's going to stay up and working, then I've got something special lined up for you guys. I'm just going to hold that cause I don't want it to, you know, stall in the middle. Oh, and I need to put. Put these on the screen as well. Check that out. I know. I'm getting carried away with the whole whiteboard thing, but I kind of like it. And, uh, hey, another quick reminder, since it's Tuesday, that means the radio show is coming up at the top of the hour. This week on the show, I have John Thornton from the North Alabama Revolving Loan Fund and uh, Downtown Concepts, Neighborhood Concepts, Neighborhood Concepts. Uh, we're going to be talking about the, uh, business, business accelerator micro loan program. I think that's what it's called. BAM is the, uh, the, uh, acronym for that. So be sure and tune in for that. That's on WTKI radio, 1450 AM, 1053 FM, or just watch talk radio for Also, um, tomorrow, I'm going to go ahead and put it up here so you can remember that. Be sure and go check out that Facebook group when we're done. It's uh, facebook.com slash group slash ecode. New installment drops every Wednesday. That's podcast me and my buddy Tim. And uh, I'm not sure what we're talking about this week, but it'll be interesting. All right, so here's a question for you. I said in the open that I was going to turn the tables a little bit. I want to make sure, and, and I, you know, I call this eating your own dog food. I was talking to... Talking to a fellow the other day, and he said drinking his own champagne. I think that sounds better, but I've just been calling it dog food for so long. I'm going to stick with that. Sometimes I have to remind myself to eat some of my own dog food. One of the things I tell you guys all the time, all the time, is if you want to know what your customer's thinking, just ask. So I'm going to ask you, and I'm going to put, I'll put this, I don't know, down in the comments. Maybe I'll rewrite the title or something, but... Um, tell me the things that you want to hear about as we get into, um, kind of the holiday season, the end of the year, <clears throat> what topics have we left uncovered this year that might be beneficial for you? I know I talked a little bit about, uh, time management a couple of weeks ago. Um, I've even put a video up and I can, Hey, there's my buddy, Tim right there. Um, let's see. P4F. So there's a, a link in the comments to one of my time management videos. Well, what are some topics that you guys want to hear about closing out the end of the year? That's the P4F's more of a daily thing. If you'd like to look at, you know, how to make plans, resolutions for the year, I can do that. Um, I literally have a whole whiteboard of topics uh, over here. But before I get way deep into developing any of those, I just want to ask. 
So really my plan topic this week before, you know, internet outage yesterday and whatnot was to talk about your market. And this kind of plays right into that message, right? Understanding your market, what's going on, what the needs of the customer are, what else is available, uh, the pricing that's going on there. All of those things kind of feed into your market. You know, I was having this discussion yesterday about uh, about a friend who has a business and has and this has had the business for a long time, and and when they started this business, had a good bit of success, but the market has shifted underneath them, and they're not willing to recognize that the market has changed, and it's just like and I use the example all the time. You know, the guy selling ice, you know. I can be the best ice salesman in town, deliver it, get it up to your ice box, tidy everything up, dump the the drip pan for you and all that, but doesn't do any good if you bought an electric refrigerator. And that guy, that ice man could hold on, and at some point, you know, when you're the last one, you become the most valuable one, but at some point, there's no market left there, no matter how good you were before. Right. So you have to pay attention, not only as you're getting started, you have to pay attention to what your market is and what it's telling you. But you constantly have to keep a finger on that pulse to figure out if something has changed. And if it has, what does that mean to you? And in fact, if you get really good at this and you really want to stick around in business for a while, you're going to learn to start predicting it. Now, well, I won't get into that. There's predicting it and there's leading it. Uh, but you can get into, um, you, you can get into predicting what's going on in the market and already be there when the market gets there. Right. So to, to extend the ice salesman example, if I were selling ice and I saw, you know, a bunch of my customers buying electric refrigerators. I might start figuring out how to work on them, maintain them, sell them something like that, because that's where everything's going. So that's where I need to be. All right. All right. So bring this back around. My question back to you, either leave it in the comment, send me a, a, a message on Facebook or an email, Tom at Tom Rigsby.com. All of those will work. What topics do you want me to nail for the end of the year? I'll go ahead and put some stuff together for it and, uh, and I'll deliver the topics you want to hear about. All right, let's see. Any good comments going on here? Same thing with lead generation. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. I see your follow-up. So sales systems are changing with a concentration on positioning and testimonials. As a result, they, I agree, and that is a result of the way people buy. Right? We don't go to the mall and shop anymore. We go to Amazon, look for something that looks right, read the reviews. If the reviews look good, then we buy it. Right. So sales systems and lead gen systems have to focus on those things because you can have the best product in the market. And if, you know, you've got no reviews, <laughs> you got no chance. Right. I mean, that's just that's kind of the way things work these days. So good point there, Joe. Thanks for bringing that out. All right. I'll be looking forward to uh, seeing your feedback, your comments, your messages and emails. Go ahead and shoot those to me. Tom at TomRigsby.com. Comment in this video or just a message on the Unashamed Nonconformist page. Radio shows in 45 minutes. Got to head down there and meet John so we can put on a fantastic show for you guys. And we'll be back here again in the morning with another brand new installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Talk to you then. You guys take care.